Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Saturday the 9th of January with, with a 6pm kickoff as the Borough take on Brentford in the third round of the Emirates FA Cup at Brentford Community Stadium. Now, as most of Borough fans will probably be aware or some of you might not be aware of, um, it was announced this week that Borough had a COVID outbreak in there amongst the training camp at Rockcliffe Park uh, back on last Monday, uh, which obviously... Uh, Put a, a lot of strain on selection for Neil Warnock going into this FA Cup tie. Um, but I think, I do believe that 50% of the first team squad uh, have came back with positive COVID tests, which is obviously sad news for us. And obviously, all the best and well wishes to those who have been affected. Um, so it puts us in a delicate situation going into the game um, on the game tomorrow because, you know, there was some speculation that w we might have to uh, forfeit to Brentford on this occasion. but it's one of those, you know, uh, we, we, that we have to carry on with the uh, game coming up, even though um, we've got 50% of our squad missing. It's um, a chance for our under-23s, which Neil Warnock confirmed in his press conference that 50% of the squad going into the game tomorrow are going to be from our under-23 side. So it's a good opportunity for, those, for them, you know, to uh, one day have a future amongst the first team at the Borough. But um, either way... Um, it's something else we have to get on with and I'll explain a bit more about our situation regarding the COVID uh, outbreak in just a little bit later on in the video. Um, going back to our last game out, we uh, started 2021 off with a, with a bang and three points to boot in the game. The 3-1 win over Wickham at Adams Park, our first ever league meeting against them. Um, obviously, we got off to a pretty rocky start, um, similar to Chef Wade. Um, to be fair, both McNair and Fry... Um, we proved pretty, pretty fatigued at the back, especially McNair in regard to the first goal. Um, Uche Piazzi um, run mazes around him, nutmegged him and then tucked it away with a brilliant finish. Give credit to Piazzi for that, beyond the reach of Bettinelli. And then later on in the first half, um, we started to get a good rhythm flowing and we equalised soon after with um, Marcus Brown, his first game back from injury and he got himself a goal, his second goal of the season. So... Good credit to Marcus Brown for that. And then we went into the lead at half time with a well taken finish from Marcus Tavernier to uh, get, get, get us in the lead going into half time. It was a superb finish. In the second half, uh, Wickham did have their chances uh, to grab the equaliser. We were playing playing with danger at times, um, and especially, you know, we have to find the crossbar on this occasion for keeping us in the game. Uh, well, keeping us in the lead, should I say. With um, Ryan Tavazzoli and Scott Cashcake both hitting the bar. And then Burnham in the game safe with three point with three points there uh, with ten minutes to go in the game. Um scramble in the box and then Shiba Akpon managed to finish it off with uh, a well taken finish to send us back home from Buckinghamshire with three points under our belt going into the uh, next few games that we have coming up or could have coming up. Um now a bit of news on the transfer front, Burr did compl complete the deal um uh, for their first one of the window with Jordan Archer coming in on a deal until the end of the season. And our first departure as well saw Dejan Stojanovic join German Bundesliga two side FC St. Pauli on loan until the end of the season. So good to see moving on the transfer front. Hopefully more to come. I know there's a lot of players who have been linked recently. Obviously, Yannick Balassi, Camille Grzycki from West Brom, and from Arrigesia as well from Bristol City. That we made inquiries for him. So it'd be interesting uh, from now until the end of the month uh, who we can get on the transfer front. Um, for, for this for this window. Now we're going to our opponents, Brentford. Um, they had a good start, as um, probably most some of us will expect in the Championship this season. Um, and the last couple of games uh, have been a bit up and down for them. Uh, last league game for them was obviously the 2 1 win at home against uh, Bournemouth. But then they had a game of uh They were meant to be playing Bristol City the week after that. But obviously, Bristol City had their own problems with COVID. Uh, so that game could not be played. And, and the last game for Brentford was obviously the 2-0 uh, defeat in the Carabao Cup semi-final against Spurs. So Thomas Frank's side will look to um, use the FA Cup as a um, potential for another good cup run for them. And it would determine ever with what players are going to choose. Obviously, we know the, uh, the threats that Ivan Toney, Sergi Canos and Brandon Bermo can cause uh, in the front line. You've got the likes of Christian Norgaard as well, Tariq Fosu, Marcus Foss. Um, Vitaly Janals as well. I've been impressed with him recently. Um, 
and they've got players to cover different sort of areas as well, like Pontus Janssen and Ethan Pinnock have been strong defensively for them. And we're a team that Brentford are going to be going to pick out for the game tomorrow. They're, they're going to be a threat no matter what. And Borough, obviously, you have to watch out for them. Now, this is our second time playing at the Brentford Community Stadium. Obviously, it's a shame there's no fans there to see it, but for obvious reasons. But the last game we played them uh, at the Brentford Community Stadium was obviously uh, the goal of straw we had against them. I remember Jibber Akpom had two glorious chances to at least get, get us on the score sheet, but that didn't arise now. Now... There's two games at the moment, obviously, with the positive COVID tests around for us, which are likely going to be in doubt um, after the Brentford game. Now, obviously, we were meant to be playing Birmingham City at home the following Saturday, which is going to be on Sky Sports as well. That game could possibly be in doubt because of our own situation with the COVID situation. And also, the game on the 20th of January away at Nottingham Forest will also likely be in doubt um, as well due to us... Um, the COVID situation for us as well. So there's plenty of uh, situations going about in a minute. So I think the next possible fixture where we do have a full fit squad to choose from could be for the game on the 23rd of January when we play Blackburn at home. And even that could be previous one as well because uh, due to, uh, only this time due to, um, either both sides progress further or not in the FA Cup. Anyway, Borough fans, leave your thoughts and descriptions for the game for the, uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as always if you haven't thought, haven't done already. And our links to our Facebook, our Twitter and our Instagram are in the description as well. So until then, I'm being Joe from Borough Fan TV and I will see you on the next preview video. Until then, take care and up the Borough.